Well, hey guys, welcome back. So, I guess if you're watching this video, you're interested in playing DOS games in Windows. Well, yeah, you know, you can't just run DOS games in Windows anymore. Like, you haven't been able to do that since, I think, Windows ME, I think it was. Now, today, you have to be uh, a little fancy about it. And there's a bunch of different ways you can go about doing it. But I think DOSBox is probably the easiest and simplest way to go about it. Um, now, if you just want to play a couple games and that's it, you can see at archive.org. Uh, I'll leave the link down below so you can check it out if you want. You can see they have like 7,000 something. Do you remember the Oregon Trail? I'm sure a lot of people do. Um, you can play this directly in the browser. All you do is just click and you can play the game. You can click up here. Uh, I have it turned off. You can click up here to go full screen with it. You can see it's fine. It all works. You can you can do whatever. It, it all works. Um, the only problem is that you don't have access to the settings uh, configuration file which means some of these things may end up being kind of laggy and unplayable for you if, if you can't make any adjustments to the settings then you want to do uh, you can do DOS box on your computer so which is what we're going to do uh, if you go to dosbox.com Go under downloads just click on this big green thing here and it should let you uh, download it okay that was quick all right let's close this out we don't need it Google um, okay so we'll just go ahead and install it and all, all the default settings is fine. Just remember where this is because we'll need it here in a minute. And that's fine. Now it put a, a shortcut. Let's see. Let's open the file location so you can see where it's at. Um, now if you just have a couple of games, I find that like, like I do, I only have a couple of DOS games to play right now. So what I did was I just made individual uh, shortcuts to the games. Now if you have like a whole stack of games to play, you might want to do something that they call like a front end. That it's like a whole bunch of graphical links and whatnot. And use controllers and mice and all kinds of stuff. They can get pretty fancy. And some, some of them are free, some of them aren't. So, if you want to go that route, you can. It, it's something that does exist. But for for something like this, you know, I just have a couple games, so I'm just going to make a shortcut on the desktop, and I can just play it whenever I want. So, in order to do that, you see this thing here called DOSBox, uh, blah, 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 options.bat. Click this. And what it'll do Alright, you can close. That was weird. Okay. So what that does is it opens up Notepad and it creates uh the config file. Let's make it a little bigger so we can see what we're doing. Now DOSBox is an emulator, right? So basically what we need to do is tell DOSBox what kind of an old computer we're going to emulate. So first things first, I want this to be um, full screen. So we'll just put true here uh, for the resolution. I'm going to go with 1024 uh, by 768. And the output 
is like uh, the rendering style, I guess you could say. I'm just gonna go with uh, OpenGL. That should be fine. And we'll skip down here. Now, depending on uh, the game, you may need to change the machine type. Basically, this is like uh, the graphics resolution. And so, like Hercules was black and white, and CJ is like a very, very low resolution. EJ is kind of like in the middle, and and VGA and SVGA are, are higher resolutions. So the default is is this. I would just leave as many options as default as you can, you know. And if you start having problems with a game, you can get online and you can look up uh, what setting you need to change uh, per game because everything is finicky you know uh, let's see yeah we'll just leave this at the default um, the cycles is like uh, the frame rate uh, what was it 20,000 We're just gonna leave everything at the default. Um, I believe on my machine, uh, I have it set for a device one. Just leave all these. Yeah. I see. You don't have to change too much. Now, here's where we tell um, DOSBox which game we're gonna play. Now, as you can see, I mentioned something about mount lines. A mount is like a virtual hard drive. So, what we're going to do is, if you're going to go mount, let's see, what this does is, is it creates a, uh, a virtual hard drive. We're going to call it drive C. And we're going to go, I have all of my. DOS games under retro games. We're going to do Hexen. So now this is the location that we're going to make into. Now, once it's mounted, then we go to Drive C and then we run Hexen because this is Hexen is the game we're going to do. And once uh, the game is finished and you close the game out, it comes back here. So in order to exit out, you just type exit, and this will close DOS box and bring us back to Windows. All right, so we save this as. You can see I've been testing things out. Make sure <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Sure games. All right. Uh, we're gonna go with this. Okay. So now we have it saved. Um. Uh, let's just leave it here. Okay, so what we want to do to make this shortcut, just click on the desktop. We're going to go to New, Shortcut. Now the idea is, uh, let's see, where is it at? We need to go and do a shortcut to uh, DOS box because we're going to run DOS box. Okay, now we're going to name it Hexen uh, Test because we're just testing on here. Okay, if you hit properties, you can, you can see 
All right, now DOSBox has a switch. If you go dash C O N F, the switch tells it to uh, instead of running DOSBox, it tells you to switch. It tells DOSBox to load up your config file. So what you have to do is you have to tell it uh, which config file. So if you click on here, you can get uh, get the location and you don't have to type it all out. Just copy and paste. And, and then you uh, type in the name of the config file you just made. In this case it was hexen test dot cfg and that should be it. Now if we run it, DOS box comes up, it loads up Hexen, and there's the game. You can see that does pretty well. You quit the game. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. And it kicks us back out. Now you can make uh, different shortcuts, different games. All you have to do is point it at uh, DOSBox and tell it to open up uh, the config file for the particular game that you want. You just have to make a config file for each one. Um, now if you get tired of looking at the icon, you can get on the internet and you can find uh, icon files that you can download. You can change it. It's pretty simple. But hopefully that wasn't too complicated to go through. Um, I guess if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. If I can answer them, I will. But I'm not like the super duper uh, guru, computer guru, so... <laughs> I can't answer every, absolutely every, every, absolutely every, every, you know. So, just if, if I can answer something, I will. But hopefully that helps you. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Happy gaming.